Well, ultimately, we need to show that there is that trust in the rules. We've had that situation where the Conservatives, time and again, seem to have acted as, against, as if there's one rule for them and one rule for everyone else. There are issues of hypocrisy here. Matt Hancock, of course, is the person who actually set those rules. They do need to be followed. But, you know, there's big questions about the use of taxpayers' money here. Yet again, we've had so many of them around the awarding of contracts. Now questions about why this advisor was put into place in the very first place. Really, the Prime Minister has got to face up to this situation if his health secretary won't. If he will not leave himself, then ultimately the Prime Minister should take that responsibility because we cannot continue with a situation where there's one rule for the Conservatives and another rule for everyone else and where we have so little apparent grip on the health of our nation from this Health Secretary. Well, I'm not interested in the personal life of the Health Secretary. What I am interested in is the use of taxpayers' money, our determination to fight this disease, to ensure that people are kept safe. Well, I have to say very sadly that this kind of approach seems to have become very regular for the Conservatives over recent months. You know, not just in relation to appointments. We've had that fast track for contracts where those who already had connections with the Conservatives were many, many times more likely to obtain contracts than those who didn't have political connections. Time and time again, questions being raised over a whole range of appointments. This is just the last in a series. And I think this can look very much like just an issue for the Westminster bubble, but the impact of it has been around the use of taxpayers' money when NHS not able to obtain the PPE that they required, the protective equipment that they required, still not enough resources on the front line. And yet it appears profligacy for friends of the Conservative Party. This cannot continue.